Good evening children. Let's start with the big friendly giant today. So turn to page 91 of your English 1 book. So here we will read about a boy named Denny who enjoyed the stories that his father told him every night during bedtime. Now look at the first paragraph. My father was not what you would call an educated man and I, and I doubt if he had read 20 books in his life. But he was a marvelous storyteller. He used to make up a bedtime story for me every single night and the best ones turned into serials and went on for many nights running. So Danny's father was not a very educated person who had hardly read 20 books in his life but he was a amazing he was an amazing storyteller. He was a very good storyteller. Every night when Danny used to go to bed his father used to make up stories of his own and he and his father used to tell those stories to Danny to make him sleep and the best stories turned into serials it continued for many nights okay next page one of them which must have gone for gone on for at least 50 nights was about an enormous fellow called the big friendly giant or the bfg for short the bfg was three times as tall as an ordinary man and his hands were as big as wheelbarrows he lived in a vast underground cavern not far from our filling station and he only came out into the open when it was dark so one of those best stories stories which continued for at least 50 nights was about a giant fellow called the big friendly giant or the bfg in short now how did the bfg look like did he look like a normal human being no bfg was three times as tall as ordinary human being and his hands were as big as small hand pushed carts wheelbarrows means small hand pushed carts so he didn't look like normal human being k okay? he was a vast creature giant creature and where did the bfg live he lived in a vast underground cavern not far from our filling station the bfg lived in a vast underground cave and he only appeared during the night when everybody was asleep the bfg is not seen during the daytime he only appeared during the night when everybody was asleep now underline the part the bfg was three times as tall as an ordinary man and his hands were as big as wheelbarrows till underline till when it was dark this part is important about the appearance of the bfg and where he lived is important underline that now next line inside the cavern he had a powder factory where he made more than a hundred different kinds of magic powder now the BFG had a powder factory inside his cave where he made more than hundred different kinds of magic powder now with what substances the BFG used to make the magic powder how is magic powder made that you will, that we will get to know later next paragraph occasionally as he told his stories my father would stripe stride up and down moving his arms and wiggling his fingers but mostly he would sit close to me on the edge of my bunk and speak very softly 
so usually what happens when Danny's father told him stories he would walk side by side uh, making gestures waving his arms and and also his fingers but mostly he would sit close to Danny on the edge of his bed and tell the stories very softly next paragraph the big friendly giant makes his magic powders out of the dreams that children dream when they are asleep he said now here we get the answer with what the big friendly giant used to make magic powders so the big friendly giant used to make magic powders out of the dreams that children dream when they are asleep said Dennis father how I asked tell me how dad so Danny was very curious to know that how can one make magic powder out of someone's dreams next paragraph dreams my love are very mysterious things you see they float around in the night air like little clouds searching for sleeping people now father answered Dennis question by saying that dreams are very mysterious things which float around in the night air like little clouds searching for sleeping people can you see them I asked Danny asked his father that father can you see dreams floating in the air father said nobody can see them now Danny again questions his father then how does the big friendly giant catch them ah my father said that is the interesting part a dream you see as it goes drifting through the night air makes a tiny buzzing humming sound a sound so soft and low it is impossible for ordinary people to hear it but the pfg can hear it easily his sense of hearing is absolutely fantastic father said that when a dream when you see a dream the dream when it moves through the night air it makes a very tiny buzzing humming sound like a bee when it when it flies so that sound is very soft and low which is impossible for human being to hear but the bfg can hear it very easily because his sense of hearing is absolutely fantastic he has a superb sense of hearing so he can hear the very soft sound of dreams floating in the air which is the sound which is inaudible for ordinary people to hear next i love the far intent look on my father's face when he was telling a story his face was pale and still and distant unconscious of everything around him so danny loved the intense look on his father's face when he was telling story to him and uh, his father uh, his father's look was so intense when he was telling stories that that he was so much into the story into making the story for his son that he was totally unaware of anything going around him understood till here so i shall not go further today i shall stop here read the story at home properly next part i shall continue in the next class okay Thank you.